What's up, everybody? Sleep to me back here with another NBA draft player breakdown. This time we'll be looking at Keegan Murray, the Iowa power forward, the sophomore, who came back for another season, got much bigger, much stronger, and is really tearing up the stat sheet. At one point he was leading the nation in points per game. Now I think he's about 23, maybe third in the nation. Still very impressive. And he's a, um, you think of guys who lead the, lead the nation, right? You think of your Trey Young, your Kevin Durant, uh, guys who really do it you know play after play with with difficult shots and creating their own Keegan Murray does it in a very different way and it's not to say he's a system player or a product he does it in ways where you just love his motor right in transition he runs harder than anyone else uh on putbacks he crashes the offensive glass three rebounds a game and as an off-ball cutter he is always moving he has such good instincts and we'll see those instincts throughout his entire tape here with almost everything he does you'll really see how his iq his instincts his overall skill and his physical tools which are so impressive um kind of flow into everything so to begin out i mentioned the uh transition play and to me that's really i mean this is really so impressive and you see this play after play he runs the floor harder than anyone else and you always talk about you know when big men run reward them and this guy you just have to because he is I mean for his size I mean 6'8 little undersized but I think he's at 225 now and he just gets past everyone he's an easy accelerator he's got great straight line speed burst and just watch him here right you see him down here uh in line with three Utah State defenders and look where the other two Utah State defenders are right back there so there's no way Keegan Murray should run past everyone right wrong you just see him, watch it, right? The, the tool, it just gets there. And then right there, he, <laughs> he he's, it's almost like you're falling asleep. And that's what happens in transition a lot of times, right? You assume, oh, the offensive player sees all of us there. He's not going to try to run past. We can slow walk it. And right here, he just continues to run hard. And he gets so many baskets like this in transition. Here, one more time. Look at where Keegan Murray is right now, right? You got down here at the corner. It's almost like you got four Iowa players in a, in a race starting out right now and just watch the speed there's nothing else to really indicate here except watch how fast he goes and it's, it's ridiculous and then he just goes and scores and he does this so regularly and when you talk about Keegan Murray obviously he's got star potential but he really projects as an instant instant impact player a guy who who could just end up being a high-end role player but you need a lot of those but someone who's just who does everything right he, he can space the floor out he can run in transition he plays defense very well he's versatile he's got all the different tools where you kind of want him as your everything guy right you think of a Trevor Reza or someone like that uh but this guy's got like I said star potential I think then we talked about he's got some of that floor spacing aspect and you talk about his offensive game yeah he runs a transition and putbacks and movement but you can't get to 23 24 points a game without being able to you know create your own shot and he does that in a variety of ways and a lot of that starts with a three-point shot he shoots about 36 percent uh 4.4 times a game pretty healthy number and a lot of that's on catch and shoot motion he's not really going to come up in transition and then pull up in your face that's not his game he's going to work off catch and shoot opportunities and he's work work a lot off of the pick and pop game which he can also translate to attacking uh, downhill. But for the most part, that's what you're going to see. Um, you see here, right? Sets the pick, fades out, and good shot. And, and his mechanics, I don't think, are the best, best per se, but it, it gets the re release off cleanly. I think there could be a little bit of improvement there, but either way, <laughs> he's got a pretty good stroke, right? You can't argue with the percentages and hits it down. Um, and he, and because of his you know, his IQ, his feel for the game, his instincts, he just has such a good feel of when to float from down in the dunker spot out to the three-point line the mid-range to the three-point line and vice versa and that's why he gets he kind of spaces it out for you and over here it's not off the pick and pop necessarily but off of that motion we just saw from there he can pump fake and go and drive down but here we're going to see him just you know catch it off of a pass and attack downhill on the rim and when keegan murray attacks it's not like just traditional straight line drives. Um, for whatever reason, he doesn't beat many people right off the dribble cleanly and go straight to the rim. He does sometimes from time to time, for, but for the most part, you're going to see drives like this where he uses his body, his body leverage, his understanding and his angles to really beat you. You watch it here, right? And his physicality, 100%. Right here, take a couple dribbles, bump. What does that little bump do? It gets the defender off his spot. And again, that doesn't beat him cleanly, but it opens up the angle for Murray to drive, right? Bump. What does he do? Spin from there, right? That bump, spin in, 
and now he's got, again, an angle. I mean, the defender's right there, but because he's cleared up just a couple inches or a foot off of that spot, like the defender's moving a foot off of his spot, Keegan Murray has the physicality and the ability to finish through contact. He has great footwork and great body control. All excellent traits for Big Ben and great, incredible touch. I mean, it's it's almost crazy to me how good his touch is around the rim. We talked about it with Chet. Uh, last week and how good he is it, it's it's kind of like that and one of the things you love about Keegan too 36 in vertical as a freshman um, reportedly it's even higher and you know watching the tape it really does look like it is higher and the number one thing though is how quickly he gets off the ground with young guys sometimes a lot of times with their leaping ability they don't get off the ground so quickly but you see it especially on offense I mean you're gonna see it even on defense but you see him just going to the chest immediately just get up and there's no contest, really, because he's got that blend of power and athleticism, right? He's up there. I mean, scores easily. And like I said, that's a lot of how his drives are, but creates it however he can. And um, so that's one aspect of the game, right? The the three-point shooting and then the driving off of that. And then here you're going to see the face-up. And off of that three-pointers, he usually likes to attack downhill and get straight to the rim. There's not much of a mid-range pull-up game. Well, I shouldn't say that. He does do it from time to time, but I don't think it's very polished enough to really call it a strength at this point. He's shown upside of it where he's pulled up off a one-two dribble pull-up uh, in your face kind of thing, but he does take some of those and miss them, and even when he's a pick-and-roll ball handler, there's plays where he drives into open space, which is a pretty solid shot, um, and it looks like a good shot when he pulls up, but he's not hitting them at a very high clip. So like I said, it's more upside than anything. It's there, but... Right now, he's better off when he's driving. But you're going to see him in the post a lot. He's got that ability to shoot. He's got that ability to drive off of these post, low post face-up game. And also the ability to uh, rip off of that, which you'll see here. All right, gets the ball in the post. And first off, it's a mismatch. Um, but Utah State uh, switches it. And Murray doesn't freak out, right? He, he feels out the post. Moves his feet around a little bit, just waits for the defender to clear out a little bit, and then right here, that little rip move. Right, one, go. And then uses the physicality, right, bumping bodies to get straight to the rim. And he's just got such a good feel and instincts of when to go, when to clear space, and then he scores. And this is what I love also. You see so many post ups with Keegan Murray, but it's not just in traditional. Uh, post-up, isolation sort of motion. It's In Fred McCaffrey's motion offense, you see a lot of... You do see your set plays, right? You have those. Uh, we see them all the time, but you also have a lot of random... I shouldn't say random motion, but, you know, instinctual motion. That's, that's kind of the beauty of it, right? It relies on your player's ability and instincts to understand when to cut, when to move, when to set picks, and it, it's a lot of motion. And it, it, it's... It's hard in a sense where you have to be good at it, but it's even harder for a defense if you do it right because it's unpredictable. You can't game plan for it. It's difficult in that sense. And Iowa runs out a lot, and especially out of transition. Um, you're going to see guys just do things that you're not even prepared for because you don't even assume them they're, they're going to set. You're going to assume they're going to post up. And over here, we're going to see one of those things and how well Keegan Murray really does it. So play starts out. Um, Murray's down the post. They're trying to get the ball to him. Fender does a good enough job. They don't force it in there. Ball goes back up to the top of the key. Or, sorry, excuse me. Goes back to Murray. Now Murray's trying to find the post up. Can't find the passing angle. So now the ball goes back to the top of the key. Gets to the slot or the side. Um, and then watch on the back end. Back to Murray up here. As soon as Murray gets rid of that ball, this big man for Iowa setting a flare screen. And typically when that happens, flare screens for the um, that player who's being screened for to get to that corner for a shot. Uh, but Murray feels it out, and right here, he feels that little gap right here, right? And where does it open to? This this area down here. And for most guys, most cuts, you're just running straight to the rim, catching the ball, and then putting it up there before your defender can recover. But Murray does an even better job here. Right? He runs, but that little bump. That's the thing I love to highlight. It's it's the, This is, again, the feel for the game. If he runs straight down and he gets straight to that dunker spot, catches it there, um, and then puts it up, the defender likely would have rotated back and stolen this ball. But because of Murray, watch him slow down, right? Right here, he's got a gap. He, he would have, with his athleticism, his burst, he would have beat him. But watch here how he little just kind of gets in front of his defender, right? Right here. 
And because of that, look what he creates. This gap, this void right here for that ball to come. Right? And then once he does, he because he's shielding his fender right here, what does he do? He creates that little pocket right here for that ball to be placed into. And then he catches it and puts it up easily. This is what I love about Murray. He does his work before the ball comes. And like I talked about in this motion offense, he has such a good instinct for doing it. You'll see them push and transition. Well, actually, I shouldn't even call it transition. <laughs> the other team will make the basket, and Iowa will just push it immediately. Three, four seconds into the clock, they'll get early offense because Murray will just be running down in front of a guard a few feet and then immediately just post up, get that leverage, get the ball, and get an easy basket. It's almost like cheating. But it's really just by his feel for the game, his instincts, which are just really next level. We'll see another one right here. So again, this is coming off one of those looks I was just talking about. And by the way, the play before this was also one of those where they just pushed it in transition and are running kind of motion. Um, here, once again, you're going to see Chris Murray this time, uh, who just passed the ball away. Chris Murray down here in the post. He's the one who's going to be getting a post up right now. And Keegan Murray's up there on the other side, other block. Chris doesn't get the uh, pick, so he starts coming out back to the perimeter. And watch 32. For Utah State, this guy right here, he's the key to all this. Now remember, Murray up there, he's he's going to come and flash and get open. But he is going to wait it out patiently. Because again, feel for the game, right? He doesn't he waits till right here. What's here right now? Again, this big gap, this big void right here. And that's only created because a defender has cleared it out. Now Murray, who if he prematurely stepped it, would have been covered because that 32 would have recovered. But instead, he waits it out, then he cuts here, right here. And again, the body, right? He doesn't just run straight. He runs a little angle while also boxing out his defender. What does he do? He leaves that gap right there for the ball to come, doing your work before the ball comes. Now, this pass is actually thrown a little bit, almost out of bounds. But Keegan Murray's got such great hands that he catches it and corrals it and moves and good. And that's what I love. Two things. One, you saw with the hands. And his ability to work through traffic. He is so under control when he's in traffic down there, down low. And he works through it so well. Uh, which I think is you know great for any big man once again. You just love that. And it's that polished sort of sense. And also, his just instincts, right? It, it's He doesn't just need those true post-ups where he's getting, like I said, getting an ISO. And like you saw with the, one of those face-up looks. He can do that, but he can also just find his own shot like that. And this is why you don't, it's, he's almost a guy you don't even have to run a play for a lot. And they do run a lot of plays. Don't get me wrong, because he's that talented. But the reason he gets to that mark is because he finds his own shot like that. And, you know, is that translatable to the NBA with all these post-ups and how easily he's getting them? Probably not. But those instincts and that feel is translatable in just about every other aspect, including scoring. He's going to get some of that. Like I said, three things outside of just traditional scoring, right? I mean, traditional if you want to call it. It's the off-ball movement, transition, and offensive rebounding. That's where it gets so many easy baskets. And those are all just motor plays, just just you know high-energy plays where you just have a feel and you're just playing hard on the other side. So over here, the ball gets in the middle. Um, the offensive player can't do much with it. Keegan Murray's up here at the top, at the top of the screen. Um, and then you see him here. He's got such a good feel for when to cut, right? You see this Wisconsin defender right here. He's starting to slide up to the top of the key because Keegan Murray's starting to edge that way. So what does Murray do? He puts his foot in the ground and just goes, draws beeline and straight for the rim right here, right? Go. Easy basket. And this is what happens all the time. There's so many examples of this. And a lot of times these are... These are just instinctual plays, right? Part of that motion offense. He does it so well. And in that motion offense, he sets a lot of picks, which, again, in today's NBA, so valuable. It's it's an unselfish thing, but he does it well. And then off of that, he feels when he needs to be cutting, when he needs to be fading, needs to be moving. That's what makes him, again, a, an instant impact player. And then here, I love Keegan Murray's ability to rebound. Uh, I, I don't remember his exact number. I just know it's three offensive rebounds per game. His total rebounds is starting to slip on me, but he's a very good rebounder. Again, he's got that vertical, but he's got two things that really help him. Well, three, rather. Motor, which you saw in a bunch. Anticipation and and technique. You know, so many big men, obviously he doesn't have the crazy tools that Chet Holmgren has, but he uses he boxes his man out every time, right? He makes sure, watch him down here. 
He's got his eye on Tyler Wall. He's got his eye on the shot that's about to go up. But he makes a concerted uh, effort to get right in front of his man. It's, it's subtle right here. It's nothing crazy. But just get in front of your man and then use your lens to jump up. And then from there, we talk about his ability in transition. And he runs it. He can run it every time. But when he gets a rebound, this is it. This is what I'm talking about. The ability to push it on the break. Iowa trusts him as that point forward in these situations to just push the ball down on the break. Um, his playmaking isn't the best at this point. He, he can definitely improve in that aspect a bunch, but he is able to score off of these. You'll see, again, the straight line speed, even with the ball in his hands, and his ability to go finish from there. See, everyone is run ahead of him, right? Crossover and finish through. And he, he can finish with either hand. We talked about Paolo before. He, he really likes his right hand a lot more. To me, it looks like he can, he can finish with either right or left. He looks comfortable either way, which is awesome. He's got a solid handle. He's not, you know, crazy, even Palo Benchero type S candles or just, you know, guard like, um, which is, you know, a lot to ask for to begin with. But he's got a solid enough handle to push it in situations like that, to put the ball on the floor, which is another thing. And you see that, right? Some of those skills, rebounding, transition, a bunch of it. And then over here, 3.0 offensive rebounds again. I know I keep stressing it, but. This is this is where he makes his money. I mean, he, he's like I said, he makes his money in so many different ways. But over here, it's it's again, this is the just the motor, right? The high effort plays. It's that's how it is rebounding. Uh, defender doesn't have him boxed out here, but you know many players could just not really go for it. But he's pushing, and even when the defender gets in front of him a little bit, because Murray continues to push, the defender gets pushed off his spot. Watch him. And what does he do? Because the length he goes up and catches, and that's the anticipation, right? Understanding I'm not going too far, almost just feeling. I mean, anticipation, you can't teach. You can't, um, you really can't teach it. It's just some people have it and you don't. And you just, that's why you see him fade a little bit and go and catch it. And from there, bump body, hook, easy. And again, that's that, that just gets you another bunch of points per game. It, it just helps that offense. And again, you don't need to run a play for him. And over here, this is something that NBA scouts really love about him. His defensive versatility in all aspects. He's good in the, as a post defender. You switch out onto the perimeter. Um, he creates steals, 1.5 steals a game, 2.1 blocks per game. He is a very good rim protector. Um, and uh, that's just despite being 6'8". And a lot of that comes down to instincts, foot speed, um, short area burst for sure, and vertical. And, and like I said, his ability to get off the ground so quickly. We'll see it here. So Murray's up here. He's not the pick and roll, the primary pick and roll defender. He's the weak side help defender in this play. But he's going to slide over and pick up the roller, which is good on his part. So right here, you see it, right? He's picked up that roller. This is good technique um, because Iowa can roll that back if they need to. He, he does his assignment, at least. And Brad Davidson beats the big man, right? Brad Davidson here. He beats the big man. But Keegan Murray's got his eyes on there the whole time. Even though he knows his assignment, he's he's that rim protector, right? Right here. Watch that burst. Just the slide over so quickly. When at, That's what I'm talking about when I say short area burst. He's here, right here. Watch how quickly he slides over and just blocks that. He does it all the time. He slides over very well. And obviously, he doesn't have the physical tools of a Chet Holmgren or even Jabari Smith, whoever. But he's he's got great instincts, and he, he's he's very good at doing that. Which is great for a guy who's undersized. And over here, we said it, 1.5 steals a game. But everyone gets their steals in different ways. Um, usually, you see some people who are able to pickpocket guys and just steal it straight from there. Some guys read passing lanes very well. And this guy reads passing lanes very, very well. Um, you see him up here at the top of the screen. Because of Iowa's rotations, he's kind of plugged onto two people. He's reading the eyes of this Illinois Guard, I believe that's Alfonso Plummer or maybe Trent Frazier. Um, yeah, Frazier, I believe. Yeah, Murray right here, right? Watch him. Just watch this ball. And as soon as he feels that ball where it's going, he breaks on it. Length, go, and then finish in transition. Speed, and again, they handles to just go and confidence. And that's what he does. And it's that versatility. He's, he's doing it in all sorts of ways. And here we'll see it him right here down at the bottom of the screen he's there against johnny davis who right now looks like the national player of the year and is listed as a six seven shooting guard but keegan murray a power forward is on him and he's been on him a lot this game 
but you watch him and you watch how well he sticks. And it, it, it's this, you see him in pick and roll situations where he switches onto a guard and plays very good defense. And I don't think his lateral quickness is the greatest at this point, but it's the motor, right? It's the continuation, it's the length, it's the... Well, actually, he's got pretty good lateral quickness, I should say that. But he's trying to flash with a lot of that, willing to switch. And when, when Iowa, Iowa does pressure and uh, press, he can be up there um, as a card hounding the ball, or you can be back as the rim protector. And it's, it's, he's got a lot of versatility in that sense. You just need to see him here. He almost gets battered down by the pick, but he continues to stick with it. That's what I love. Sticks with it. Doesn't have, again, the greatest position. He does get some help from his help defender, but he does a good job sticking. That's all you can ask. And Davis is forced to put up that shot and misses. And that's that's what I'm talking about with Keegan Murray. You get so many different aspects with this guy. He's really a do-it-all player. That's what you're going to continue to hear about him as a floor spacer, as a defensive guy. He's 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 one of those jack of all trades, and he does a lot of things really well. And where he's going to be in the NBA, it looks like a top five, probably six, seven pick, definitely top ten for sure. And he's really vaulted himself up. I think I was reading that he could have been a late first round pick if he had he left last draft which is pretty impressive considering how little he played but you see why and I think it's a great thing he came back not just for his production but for his overall uh body he put on 20 pounds and you go back and watch his freshman tape and he is a lot smaller than he looks right now but everything together that strength that power that vertical athleticism and just the skill the IQ footwork physicality everything love his body control right I mean we've seen in all different aspects this guy has just got special talent and i think i'm very excited to see him in the nba but that's been the entire uh, film breakdown on keegan murray hope you guys liked it uh if you like it please subscribe and thank you and i hope you guys have a great day